What was one positive and one negative in Tennessee's win over Texas A&M? We discuss in the latest High and Tight, brought to you by Gambooza's Barbershop. Let's start with the negative, and it's Joe Milton. Milton had his worst game of the season against Texas A&M as Tennessee's passing offense continues to underwhelm. Milton ranks bottom half in the SEC in pretty much every statistical category, but it's not all him as the receiving core could be better. The unfortunate injury to Brew McCoy, combined with the fact that no receiver outside of Squirrel White has had a good year, has led to a significant drop-off from last year's wide receiver production. But in spite of all that, the Vols are still winning tough games such as Texas A&M, and that's the positive. Everywhere else, Tennessee has been good to great. The front seven has been elite, led by sophomore James Pierce. D. Williams is a game-changing punt returner. Jalen Wright looks like the best running back in the SEC, and the secondary, led by Kamal Haddon, has improved. The passing offense hasn't been good, but other areas are picking up its slack. If Milton and the receivers can turn things around, Tennessee will be an even more dangerous team down the stretch. It's the high and tight, brought to you by Gambooza's Barbershop, where you can book online at gambooza'sbarbershop.com or call 865-588-4001. Gambooza's, men belong here. And for the very best Vols coverage, keep it locked on Rocky Top Insider.